Hey everyone, Tim Anderson here, aka Renfell, and welcome to my series about Incarnate, which is a really cool map making tool that I enjoy using. As of this recording, I've been working with it for a couple of years, creating maps for our project, which is the world of the Weave in the Void, and it encompasses a point and click adventure game as well as a tabletop source book and adventure modules. And we also have some other creative stuff that we use these maps for uh, via our Patreon page and beyond. Uh, but I'm going to be diving into this series, showing people all the ways that I use Incarnate, the tips and tricks on how you can use Incarnate, some pros and cons of the system, so on and so forth. We're going to be getting into that over the course of a series. Now, if you're here and you are an intimately familiar uh, user of Incarnate, Welcome. Hopefully you'll be able to add to the conversation, drop your expertise down in the comments below. And if you haven't already done so and you're new here and you're coming across this for the first time and you want to learn how to make maps in Incarnate and, and enhance your tabletop world building expertise, you're in the right place. Like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you never miss an update as we launch more videos in this series and beyond. Check out the other playlists here on YouTube. We do a lot of stuff related to tabletop and pop culture, gaming, and beyond. Don't forget to support with memberships, super chats, super thanks, and our Patreon page, of course. In the meantime, let's dive in. Right now, we're looking at a folder of maps which were created for our first module the uh, prequel module, as we call it, which is Escape from Parthana, which is a level one to level four adventure that is located in the back of our source book. Um, and this is something to get people's feet wet with our unique setting and get them started on their way into the actual campaign. Now, I created these maps between mid-2021 and the launch of the source book and module on May of 2022. We live streamed the playtesting of the module in August of 2021, where some of these maps were done, but not all of them. And then all of the maps were available and on display when we, when we did the live streams for real in mid 2022, leading up to the end of 2022. And we're currently in the middle of production on the story one season one arc, which was live streamed and is currently being turned into the next module. So I'm working on additional maps now. Um, we're gonna get into some of those maps here in a little bit. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to show you what I built over the course of a couple of years. Now, one of the things that I love about Incarnate is the fact that this company has been continually enhancing this product since I first came on board. I don't know the exact number. I think in the, in the, in the, couple of years that I've been using them, I believe they've launched an additional six or eight um, asset packs since I first came on board. And there's just, there's so many resources available that you can really go in and do some cool stuff to make your maps super unique. And you can, you can use this program for all sorts of maps when it comes to the creation of your tabletop world your battle maps, your dungeon maps, and so on and so forth. Um, what we've got in front of us here are all of the uh, battle maps, city maps, and dungeon maps from the module, as well as some interiors like the Muddy Made Tavern. And one of the things that we did is we have these available on our Patreon page in the 8K format for people who want to use it for their VTT programs. Um, and then they can take those and resize them and, and do what they want. And we also have a uh, another set available where all of the, the POIs have been stripped out. So if you go over here and look at like this map, which is Darren's way, you'll see that up here in the top right. And if I click over it, it'll say edit map. And I can literally just go in here. And what we've done for some of these maps um, is we made a map pack available where we just came in and we deleted all these POIs like this and made it so that the maps are completely agnostic and can be used with any VTT program that you want. So if you want to check those out, don't forget to check out our Patreon page. Uh, more information in the links below, of course. But that's one of the ways we use this program is to create these tabletop maps for BTT. Now, once you've got a map like this, you can export it out in like an 8K resolution, and then you can import it into your preferred tabletop program and add your grid in whatever program you're using. That way it's set up the way you need it to be set up for the um, the token sizes that you want and the size of the map that you want because you can, you can go in and out. I don't know if I have it on 8K resolution at the moment i don't think no i don't because you can't i don't have that high of a level of uh, detail when i when i scroll in but um 
Um, it's a really cool program that allows you to do a lot with it. So these are the maps that what they look like without POIs. And of course, we have all of these maps here. Now, what we did with the new campaign is going into the new maps that have been done. Um, for example, this world map, for those who've been around a long time on my channel, um, let's see if I can load this map quickly. It depends on my internet here, to be honest with you. Um, the world map started off, you know, early 2021, and I worked my way through here and basically started with a generic structure that I then added mountains to, I added uh, the forests to and everything else. I'm talking while this is loading. Um, I actually live streamed the creation of this map entirely on the Weave in the Void. So if you want to check out the um, YouTube tutorials, you can go see those over there on that channel. Um, but um, this map took about, if I remember correctly, I think it took about 15 hours to put together in its entirety. Um, and that was done over the course of, I want to say, a couple of weeks, just sitting down for a couple of hours here and there um, over, I don't know, like half a dozen sessions or something. Um, but this is our world map, and this was created in um, Incarnate. Now, we also have like these street maps that were created in Incarnate, and we also have city maps, like this city map for Forkland. Forkland is a city from the Season 1 story arc that was live streamed over the la latter part of 2022 um, and this is like the major place that you end up after the events in the prequel uh, module and when you start off the players have at their disposal a ship called the silver trident um, and then depending on choices they've made they may also be the owners of the laughing badger tavern and inn um, but you definitely walk away with the Silver Trident at the end of the prequel adventure, which means you end up as level four adventurers in the city of Parthana. And from here, you get to start um, your next adventures going from level four and beyond um, completing tasks within the city and going from there. This map also took me around somewhere in the ballpark of 12 to 15 hours to create. I did not, did I? I did live stream this one. I was thinking I might not have. Um, I also live streamed the creation of this one over on the Weave in the Void, so you can check that YouTube channel out for more information on this. Um, but with a map like this, you know, I'm always going to start small. I have a few things in my mind that I need. Some of these maps I will lay out with a pencil sketch first, and then I'll come in and start laying them out with the asset packs. Um, but you can come in here and and see all the stuff we've got going on and and it's a really powerful tool that you can use to create some pretty awesome stuff um I'm, i've been pretty impressed with this program i keep saying that so hopefully you enjoy it like i do <laughs> um but beyond this um yeah we don't need to save those changes because i want anything also coming in and doing like these um i'll give you a chance to look at one of these uh, dungeon maps because it's not just about the world maps and the city maps. You can also come in and create underground um, content here and um, build these things up however you need to with um, all your assets. And then going into the uh, stamp tool, open up the catalog, I can give you guys a brief glance. Now, I am, I don't remember what it's called, but I'm on the pro version, which gives you access to all of the high definition um, stuff that you can use. You can also resell the maps. Um, if you've created them, you can you can resell them on your own. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff in here, but basically there's these are the asset packs. You've got Fantasy Battle Maps, Fantasy Regional High Definition, Fantasy World, Parchment World, Watercolors, Battle Maps, Watercolor Cities. So if I were to start a new map, let's go back to maps here real quick. I'll show you a little better what that looks like as we create something from scratch because and give you just a, a, a kind of a glimpse into what we've got here. Um, so you can create Fantasy Battle Maps which is an overhead style, um, and this is in beta right now. Um, and they've got some examples, and I've created several of these maps in the asset pack that you see, or saw, I should say. They also have watercolor cities, which is a different type of style. So you have different um, asset stamp packs to make these types of maps. Then there's the watercolor battle maps, which are similar to the fantasy battle maps, but it uses those that watercolor theme. Um, which is different and unique, so you can use this for the style that you want. Then there's the fantasy regional high def stuff, which is when you get into this. some of the people who make stuff here do some really creative stuff. Um, but it's a lot of fun. 
You can use it for uh, world maps as well as for city maps and little zones and everything else. Then you have Parchment World, is what, which is what I used to create our world map. There's various styles that you can create, as you can see here, um, different ways that you can build maps out. And then there's the old fantasy world, which is um, and just another style of maps that they have available and way that you can create stuff. So you've got various styles to choose from here. And then within each of those styles, going back to, if I go into like, um, let's look at Marin's Rest. Oh yeah, this will be the perfect map to open up because this is what, I think this is the very first map I ever made in Incarnate, way back when I first started using the program. Um, this is the village map for our uh, point and click adventure game. So when my brother and I initially sketched out the um, this section in the bottom left here, which is the, the the prototype area that we were building out when we initially launched the demo. So if you go play the point and click demo that we have available on our Patreon page, you're literally going to be uh, um, going to these four buildings down here: the Stony Brook Tavern, Fire and Flint Forge, uh, Penny's General Store, and Lore and Lexicons. Um, so I then took that and extrapolated it out over a pencil sketch and then made this map um, and spent way too many hours on this one. This, is, this one was probably 40 hours, and it's not the best map I've done, but I was learning to use the program when I built this map. And then once I had it built, I handed it over to my brother. So rather than having a pencil sketch or a piece of concept art that he was going off of when he was building out the town that is the heart of our point-and-click adventure game, he was able to take this world map and go, oh, Okay, so there's a path here. Here's the sheriff's house. We can put the stables here. And all the main POIs that people are going to need to go to in the game are, are literally marked out with names. So um, these are all the places you can go to within the town of Marin's Rest, which is in our point-and-click adventure game. And what's interesting about the way we've done this is Marin's Rest is also in the tabletop game, and it's also in the book that accompanies everything because the fantasy book series is being written at the same time as the uh, the campaign is taking place for the tabletop book and the point and click adventure game takes place in the same world at the same time as well so they all tie into each other and have easter eggs um, that tie back to each other anyway um, it is a browser-based program incarnate is fully based on the browser so um, I, it says here load offline backup i've never i don't know if you can work offline or not or, or if this just loads your assets, I don't know enough about that because I've never done it. But it is browser-based as opposed to a program that you install. Now, there is a free version as well as a paid version. I think, if I remember correctly, the difference is between the two, just so that you better understand what might be best for you, is that if you're just doing something for yourself and your friends and you don't need super 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 high definition high quality assets you can just use the regular base free thing um, because it gets you all the tools that you need and a lot of the assets but you don't get access to the high definition stuff um, the other thing you get when you become a pro is i believe it was um and i have to go back and look now but it's like uh, all the high definition stuff um, plus you get the ability to resell your maps anywhere and all sorts of other fun stuff. So it just depends on whether you're going to be doing this commercially or privately, just for you and your friends. Um, since we're doing it commercially, then it was easy for me to do the pro version. I want to say it was like $25 for a whole year, so it's not expensive to use at all. A couple bucks a month, you know, to, to access the, the pro version and, and sink your teeth in. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a very brief high-level overview of what Incarnate is and how we are using it. Again, we use it for our tabletop game. It All these maps are available in the first campaign module. So if you're running that campaign, you have all these maps at the back of the PDF. And then if you are a Patreon supporter, you get all of these maps without the POIs attached. So you can actually go use these in 8K format in whatever VTT program you're using for whatever campaign you want. Um, and of course, um, beyond that, we also use it for a point and click adventure game for some of the, um, just instead of using concept where it uses this. And we have some other creative stuff we're doing, which you can't really talk about because I don't want to give it away until it's available through our Patreon page. Um, but yeah, we're doing lots of fun stuff with Incarnate. Highly recommend it. Um, very inexpensive. There is a learning curve, obviously. That's what I'm setting out to do with this series is to give you my take on that and some how-to videos and how I use the tools 
it's not going to be the best tutorial system out there because there are people out there who have been using fan uh, using um excuse me, not fantasy grounds but have been using incarnate for way longer than i have been and hopefully we get some of those people commenting here and letting us know so we can go check out their stuff as well if you enjoyed this don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can continue to get updates as we get deeper into the series support if you can with memberships here on youtube there's three different tiers starting at 2.99 a month you can also do super chats on live streams and premieres super thanks on uploaded videos and don't forget we have the patreon page for those of you who want to get over and check that stuff out and beyond that discord links are all down below i'll see everybody in the next episode happy gaming and happy world building everybody